Georgia Salzburgers in Bullock County. There's my title and great big, pretty Georgia Salzburger Society seal. We're getting ready for the 100th anniversary of the society in 2025. The society was founded in 1925. Lots of history. And here are our, um, okay, so something happened and it didn't go forward. Might have to do the mouse because it didn't do the arrow. So here are some of the very common Salzburger names. And we've got a few of them on this list that have Bullock County connections. But some of these are very common last names like uh, Dasher and Gruber. Um, Keith, uh, Kessler is a very common because it's a, a German name. Um, and then Schmidt gets changed, get ang anglicized to Smith. So, Oh, thank you very much. And then Miller, that's absolutely a very common name. So we have Georgia Salzburger names. We have some common names mixed in here. And we have a few that we're going to talk about that are Bullock County connections. Now, whenever I talk about Georgia Salzburgers, I say Georgia Salzburgers. I'm not talking about just Salzburgers, those religious refugees from the northern part of modern day Austria. This mouse. Oh, it catches. I was going to, well, I'm not talking about just this region right here. Whenever I say Georgia Salzburgers, I'm talking about folks that are from South Germany, Austria, the German part of Switzerland, which is right here, and also the German part of France, which is Alsace. Uh, um, which I can't say it the way that German folks do. But anyway, all of this German speaking um, land, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Georgia Salzburger immigrants, people that came from here, not just the region of Salzburg. So that's really important to make that distinction. That's why we're called Georgia Salzburgers because we're a big melting pot of German immigrants that came from 1733 to 1752 not just those that were religious refugees that were expelled. Okay, so you said to try the arrow. Oh, it worked. Now, not every Georgia Salzburger lived in this little town of Ebenezer. This is a little drawing um, that was done uh, by Von Rex, um, artist that came with him in 1736. So not every Georgia Salzburger had a lot in this town. Not every Georgia Salzburger lived at this bluff overlooking, that's the Savannah River and Ebenezer Creek is back there. This is Red Bluff where Ebenezer is. Not every Georgia Salzburger um, had, a land, had land overlooking this or near here. Not every Georgia Salzburger worshiped in this beautiful church that we get to have or its predecessor that was the wooden church before it. So some Georgia Salzburgers, and here we have some names here that are Bullock County, Salzburger names, I'm going to leave that up if y'all want to jot those down. Um, some of the, now these are the modern spellings, and we're going to talk about the original spellings in a minute, but some Georgia Salzburgers had land away from Ebenezer, and this is what we're going to talk about. Whenever I mentioned a few minutes ago, we talk about folks moving away from Ebenezer, and they did, but sometimes whenever you find a land record in the 1790s, and the families lived there, you know, before that. They didn't move to Bullock yeah. County when Bullock County was created. Bullock County came to them, basically. So it's not a lot of moving that goes on. They're living there, and the land becomes Bullock County. So these are the names. We have Burkhalter, which is pretty much unchanged. Bunce, that had a name change. This name is pronounced so many different ways uh, that looks like it says Geiger because it's a German word. So we pronounce the second vowel there. Um, a lot of folks that are descend from this family in Tattnall County and on, they call it uh, Giger or Giger, um, which I don't agree with that pronunciation. This is Griner that did change the spelling of the name and Gruber changed its spelling. Lastinger. That one really didn't change. Smith was Schmidt. And then Zetterauer, that's a really different, that's a very different um, spelling from its original. We're going to talk about that uh, change as well. 
any of these names familiar to y'all? Of course, we, you know, I just came from Bear Calter Road and we got a Zetter Hour Road right down the road over there. So we got road names named this in this county. So we're going to start with those who came from um, the uh, Archbishopric of Salzburg, which is modern day Austria. So we're talking about, get the mouse, this region right here. And then some uh, folks that were known as Austrians came from this area right here, the Lentz land. So of course, this is uh, Germany here, and this right here is the very edge of Switzerland. So then we're gonna focus. Ma'am? That Lentz land. So we're going to first talk about uh, Gruber because this is a very big family, a lot of descendants from this line, even though we have one immigrant named Peter who gets married. He has two sons, but one dies as a baby. He has one son, Johannes, John, to grow to be an adult and have children, but yet we have piles of Grubers. And we have a Georgia Salzburger immigrant named Hans Gruber. The two men were not closely related. They certainly weren't brothers. I haven't identified their family connection yet, but he did not have children. His two sons stayed behind in Austria uh, and Salzburg as well as his wife. Um, but so we only have one Peter Gruber with one son with a pile of descendants. We also have another from uh, Longenau who was named John George Gruber, but most of the folks that are still named Groover descend from Peter. So he was from, um, he was baptized in the little town where the red uh, star is named Hofgastein. And that spelling is very small. It's right up there, but it's H-O-F-G-A-S-T-E-I-N in the Gastein Valley. So this is a page from the Hofgastein Baptism book, uh, the Taufman Registry. And so 1698 is the year. You can see that up there. This is a page full of old German. And um, get to, we get to look through these and learn about all these baptisms here. Um, this is what I do. This is my favorite thing to do. So we're going to be looking in at this one right here. We see the number 20. So on that says March. 20th, 1698, and we'll zoom it in to Peter. So that is a Latin spelling. This is a Catholic church book. We have Salzburgers who are Lutherans. They're, they're practicing Protestants. They are Lutherans at night. They're underground at this time. They're Catholic by day. All of their church records, baptisms, those that died, their marriages, they're in Catholic church books. So you often find a Latin uh, suffix there at the end of the name which one that is. And so we have that's just saying Peter was uh, the legitimate child of Michael Gruber. And there we have a Latin addition suffix there at the end of the name, something like Michaelis um, Gruber, a uh, servant in the group, which is like that most people just have a little bit of a disagreement about what that really means like uh, some type of a mining operation is what this uh group means and his uh, magdalena amoser uh, and that in just means she's uh you know female so amoser uh, that's her maiden name and then uh his wife so there is peter's baptism record 1698 lots of folks descend from peter groover now here we have Sorry. The Zitterauer. So I will spell it really quick. That is A M O S E R, is how you spell Magdalena, her maiden name being Amoser. And then we're going to scoot on to another uh, Salzburger, Zitrauer. So Zitrauer is more of how we would say it. And then that's the way it gets changed here in Bullock County. This is lots of folks in Effingham still have that name at the top. Some do R-O-U, 
E-R. This is the Bullock County spelling, the second one here. But this is the original spelling. And so here we are going to look at the town that Paul Zittrauer comes from in Alton Market, in um, which is spelled A-L-T-E-N. M-A-R-K-T, it's all one word. And it's marked there with that red star and you see its proximity to where we just were with the Hoff Gastein right here in the Gastein Valley. So we have um, Zittrauer coming from here. And there is his page, the page that his baptism record is found on. So this is from 1710. And this is a page from, there we see the word December and we're going to come down to here to look at Paul. So he's born on the 18th, excuse me, he's baptized on the 18th of December, 1710. And so here we have Paul with another little Latin suffix there at the end of the legitimate son of uh, George Zittrauer. And... Um, he was, he was working in the, right there is telling us the town that he was working in. I'm not very good at pronouncing all these German words, but it's F-L-A-C-H-A-U, like Flachau or something like that. And then his wife, Anna Specker, so that's S-P-E-C-H-E-R. And then I-N just is the feminine form of the name, which we don't add. So there's Paul Zittrauer. <laughs> And a lot of folks call him Paulus Zittrauer because we have the little uh, suffix there in there. That's not his name. His name is not Paulus. His name is Paul. And so here we have Schmidt. M more modern spelling of it is Smith. A lot of folks descend from the Austrian, the upright Austrian Hans Schmidt. So he was from the Lentz land. I mentioned that a minute ago at the start of our Austrian map. And it's marked there, um, his town is Hersching, which <coughs> is um, spelled H, and then the O with the umlaut at the top, R-S-C-H-I-N-G. And if, you can't, if you're going to be typing this up and you can't type an umlaut on your computer, you just take the umlaut away and it's O-E. You replace the O umlaut with the OE. So either way, just make sure you have it spelled wrong. Otherwise, if you don't put the OE, if you don't have the umlaut. Anyway, um, so there is his town of origin. And you see how far away that is from where all of the, most of our folks are from right here. So we're going to scoot forward to look at the uh, Hershing baptism page. Uh, from 1705. We're going to be looking at this one. So this is actually, this is June 1705. We see it written right there. So this one is still May. I didn't pick up that. I didn't realize that it didn't have the date on it whenever I grabbed this screen. So we're going to be looking at this one, where Econis is listed. And so there he is on May 16th, 1705, Johannes. And this little line just means that's a double N. So the pastor didn't write the two ends. He just made the little line. Um, the Matthias Schmidt is his father and his wife, Rosina, are the parents of Hans Schmidt. Her maiden name is not known at this time. Now, even uh, this is an uh, excerpt from our, the letters of Johann Ernst Bergman that we just had published or printed. It was just published, yeah in um, February of 2022, this is the letter from the pastor. There was a hurricane and, or some kind of terrible storm. He related it to a hurricane. And so I don't know if it was really a hurricane in December, but anyway, in 1804, the trustees of Ebenezer had been at Ebenezer having a trustees meeting and this terrible storm had happened. Well, Gottlieb uh, Smith was there and he was worried because he couldn't get back. He couldn't leave. And it's talking about how he was in a great anxiety because his family was 20 miles away from Ebenezer <clears throat> in his district, which is Bryan County. The storm had been harsher. So whenever we think of um, 119, uh, as it takes us to Highway 80 and Mud Road is here, 
and you go that way to Black Creek and you go that way is Bryan County, that's where we're talking about in that area. Um, and so did he, did he move there? No, the family had received land there, so they lived there. And he had um, to come to Ebenezer for the trustees meetings. So now we're going to scoot to the folks that have that uh, have German birth. And so most of our Georgia Salzburgers, if you take it like mm, about right here, south, that is where a lot of our Georgia Salzburgers come from, the ones that are coming from Germany. And so Bunce is one of them. That's the original spelling up there with the TZ ending. And that's the uh, modern spelling of it with the CE at the end. And so their town is uh, Niederstotzingen. And that's a dilly of a town name to have to spell out. But it's right up here. So N-I-E, that's why we have the long E, D-E-R-S-T-O-T. Z-I-N-G-E-N. -E and so that is Bunce. Now we have three brothers coming um, to Ebenezer. And this is the baptism record of, there he is, Heinrich Ludwig Bunce, the son of Johann Bunce, and his wife was named Christina Weidman. And so this is from the year 1728. So we've got the year right here, 1728, J-A-H-R. The, where were we? The 21st of August, we have Heinrich Ludwig being baptized. And we see his name was mistakenly put down as Johann Martin, and that was marked out. So he's one brother that came, and then the other one being Johann George. Okay, there he is right here. And so here we have a line over the N again to mean it's a double N, G-E-O-R-G, -E Georg. And then we have 1731, right there in Roman numerals. The fifth of, and that says uh, adjusium, which means the same, so the fifth of. January. I have a lot of these Latin words in here, so it kind of gets confusing after a while. You have to switch back and forth. So here we have the parents, uh, Johann George Bunce and his wife, uh, Christina Weidman. And then the other brother, he has a little mark in his. So we have urban, um, which it's got the little Latin suffix there can am i in your way i keep feeling like i'm oh, okay so excited, but. okay <laughs> i'll try to keep it, that okay. in mind i was not paying attention so we have this latin ending urbanus there at the end of his name and so he's gone to the new world and so in 1735 on the 27th of january he's born that's what that says the 27th of the same meaning january he is born, and on the 28th, he was baptized. Getauf was baptized. So, usually in the Lutheran church, babies are born, and then they're baptized, you know, within hours. But Urban was baptized the following day. And then we have Johann George Bunce, and there's his wife, Christina. So, all three of these brothers come to Ebenezer. <laughs> and lots of folks descend from the Bunces. Now, last thing here is one name. It really didn't change. I don't see how it could. Um, it's very well, you know, pretty well straightforward, lasting. Or now, this is a family from um, near. So we have Ulm near here, and that's like an imperial city that a lot of these little towns have to answer to, basically. So it's. Langenaltheim is the town that um, the Lastingers are from, and it's L-A-N-G-E-N-A-L-T-H-E-I-M. 
not to be confused with Longanau, which is where a lot of our Georgia Salzburgers come from. And so I didn't have too much information about Lastinger. I do know that the uh, son, John Gruber, the one of the sons of Johannes Gruber, married a Hannah Lastinger, and they moved away. So here we have Griner. We have the original spelling of it, and then we have the modern spelling of it. And if you <coughs> um, had this, we had one of our Georgia Salzburger presidents, Mr. Bob Griner. He's an older fellow now. Um, he was going to give a speech in one of the meetings there at um, in Germany. And they spelled his name this way on the program. And he was like, well, that's not correct. And he, was, what, he wasn't just telling the people that that wasn't correct. He just kind of said that was incorrect. And one of the uh, program planners had said that if they spelled it like this, he would be a greener. And so they would spell it like this so that you know to pronounce it griner because we have the uh, focus on the second vowel there. So Griner is another Bullock County family. And so um, coming from Fleinheim, which it's it's the town near it that's its imperial city is Heidenheim, which that's probably very familiar, uh, more so than Fleinheim. So that's F-L-E-I-N-H-E-I-M. And so this is one of the baptism records um, from 1708, and we can see that right here. And it's, it's funny, the eights are written sideways. So that's what's different. So we're looking for, I think he's actually born in 1709, Jacob Phillip. I'm going to get in the way because I can't see it. I just was going to point it out on the thing and to be able to, um, I may have grabbed the wrong one. I've got the correct one zoomed in. So we have the 14th of March, he was born. And then the 15th of March, he was baptized, son of Casper Griner and his wife, Anna Elizabetha. So Philippus Jacobus, uh, which is Philip Jacob. Uh, Griner, and he's just one, there are a lot of Griners that came, Casper Griner's one of them that immigrated, but I just thought that was so interesting to have that name to where the front name is not Johan. Let me see if I can see it really quick. Oh, there it is right there. So this is actually 1709, so that we've got the little year marker right here, so it wraps over and goes to Philip Jacob Griner. A lot of people descend from him. That's why I picked his, because there are so many baptism records of the Griners that I have. So we're going to switch now to Switzerland because we have some Swiss folks. We were talking about the Lastingers a minute ago. I uh, mean, uh, Barrett Calthers a minute ago being from Switzerland. And in this map, the one thing that stands out to me, this is in a letter from the Georgia trustees to the Georgia trustees, actually, when the Swiss immigrants were asking the Georgia trustees to hire them a reformed pastor, they asked for uh, Zubli, who was from St. Gall. They just dropped the E in. So that just jumped out at me because we're going to be talking about Berkhalter in a minute. So we have Geiger being um, from right there near St. Gall in uh, Widnau. W-I-D-N-A-U is their town. And you see how close that is to, um, to Germany. And then Burkhalter is the one that we were talking about a minute ago that we all know was a Swiss family. Named it and changed really. Sometimes it was written with a C right there. So there's their town of this is a very hard word for me to say, but anyway, it's like um, Lutzelflu or something like that. Uh, that U has the umlaut over it, so it's a really hard U sound to say. But this is where the um, Berkhalters are from. And so this region right here pretty much is the, uh, the German-speaking region of Switzerland where 
the culture is Swiss. I mean, is German. The language is German. And it's um, part of pretty much culturally <clears throat> Germany. So we have the inhabitants of Vernonberg writing a letter in 1742 to the Georgia trustees asking for a pastor. And this is how we know those folks were reformed because they're asking for a pastor who was well-grounded in the Calvinistic principles. Those are the uh, principles we were brought up in and that we adhere to even now. So they're asking for the trustees to hire them a reformed minister and they request uh, Johann, it said John in the uh, colonial records, uh, Joachim Zubli of St. Gaul, which I was just pointing out a minute ago in Switzerland. And here we have Michael Burkhalter, the uh, Georgia Salzburger immigrant is one of them. Incidentally, this is another Georgia Salzburger immigrant, not the one that uh, the Ebenezer Kiefer's descend from because this man was in Vernonburg. This is uh, Theobald Kiefer III, uh, number three, um, that we are still researching. He actually came from uh, Kirkel in the uh, uh, Swybrücken region of Germany. So anyway, he was reformed because of, we know because of this letter, but we're talking about Michael Verkalter right here. And so whenever Egmont wrote his papers of the folks that were the early settlers into Georgia, we have Michael Burkhalter and his wife, uh, Margarita, and his son, their son, Michael, and Michael's daughter, and they arrive with five children. And so um, it says right here, they settled at Hampstead, and they're very industrious. And his lot, meaning Michael uh, Burkhalter Jr., was improved by his father because they had joining lots. So here we have, we're going to go forward. So that was in 1736 when we have the Egmont um, mentioned, I think it was 1736 or it say 1739. It doesn't say, right? Oh, 1735. Okay. So we have 1735. So we're going to fast forward to the granddaughter of the original immigrant, Margaret Burkhalter, marrying Ethelred Hagen. And we have Hagen is a very well-known Bullock County family. You've got, you know, that many Hagens even in the phone book today. And the phone book's pretty thin. So there's a lot of Hagens around here. Well, because of the matriarch of that line of the family, they have Georgia Salzburger ancestry through the Burkhalter lady, Margaret. Um, and then here is whenever her dad, the... Um, he was also an immigrant, but the son of the patriarch of the line, uh, Michael Burkhalter. And we see Absalom Hagen being an administrator. And later on, Ethelred Hagen was part of the administration of the estate of Michael Burkhalter, his brother-in-law. So lots of information, so much information. Um, one thing I would like to do, I would like to invite everybody to get to come to this is our museum at the Georgia Salzburger Society. This is at Ebenezer, 2980 Ebenezer Road in Effingham County. And um, it's a nice concrete structure. It's a replica of Georgia's first orphanage, number one, and then Bethesda's number two. Um, Bethesda was actually modeled after this. So you can come research in the library and get your Dasher line, uh, excuse me, Gruber line worked all the way out and somebody else. We were talking about rushing. Yeah, we're going to look and see if you got if you've got your fear rushings. Go back to the Dickersons, and so you can see the uh, the little cottage that we have. This is the fail house at Ebenezer, and it's dated from around 1810, 1820. It's a um, it's one of the only two homes to survive the American Civil War at Ebenezer, and it's a very common layout of middle-class homes in Savannah that were being built in Savannah in the 1820s and 1830s. And it's actually getting a new roof as we speak. <laughs> They're there today. And so your Georgia Salzburger um, ancestry, 
allows you to join the Georgia Salzburger Society. Now, what if you don't have Georgia Salzburger ancestry? If you really are um, interested in uh, colonial Georgia history, you just have a, a lot of love for that period, um, you can join as a friend of the society. And so you just complete this. If you have genealogy, you complete it. If you want to join as a friend, you complete that top part. Now, we were talking to Mr. Hare, and we mentioned the supplemental. If you have your Georgia Salzburger ancestry, um, my husband's is through Jacob Ganan. His mama, we found out just a couple of years ago, she descends from the Tattnall County Dickersons. That goes back to Peter Gruber. So my mother-in-law, who never knew of her Georgia Salzburger ancestry, I said, well, we've got to get y'all some supplementals. So my husband and my brother-in-law have supplementals under Peter Gruber. So, uh, cause their, their grandma on their dad's side was a Ghanaian and they always knew about their Ghanaian ancestry and they never knew about their Gruber. So there's the seal. I don't know why it got so small, <clears throat> but does, um, are we going to have like the Q and A on this? Okay. How do you spell G-N-A-N-N. -N. 